back everybody to the Warlord of Espes Place Torment Tides of Numenera, episode 65. Last time we went to the last cast off Doom and uh, discovered a little bit about the history. And now we're in the Sanctuary, the place where all the cast off go when, uh, I guess, to be safe. And we're talking to, uh, whatever her name is, who's in charge of the fight against the Changing God. So let's continue talking with her. So what were the Chaining God's plans? To offer our lives in a mad sacrifice to stop the sorrow. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Hmm. Tell me again. Uh, no, I don't want to. How did the first die? Choose her to as she li as she lives, sacrificing herself for our, for our lives. Hmm. I need to find Me Mezov. Is he here? Making a note. Rise near. <clears throat> now, no one has seen Mezov in over a decade. Pablo might know where he is. Talk to her. Sure, her voice softened. Edris might be the best of us. Treat her well. I'll be sure to. Uh, you pay him blood and pain. Hmm. Let's not challenge her to that. I'll just piss her off. Hmm. Now I already know where she's going. Hmm. Uh, tell me about Edrius. She has the qualities the rest of us do not. A peaceful, idealistic nature. She wants only the best for all casts off. She rises above all our rivalries. Her idealism is frustrating at times, but she has wisdom and insight in her gentle nature. Alright. Yeah, you can go. I'm done with you. You can go. I have something to say to you compatriots first. Stares at Callisty, studying her and her sisters. Now that your sibling rather is out of the way, let's talk about you. You fractured yourself on purpose, didn't you? She shifts her chain and I... Firstly, of course I did. Word of advice then. Undo it. I've seen other people try to make themselves more than human. Like the coward, for instance. And all it gains it, you is a lifetime of loneliness and... Centuries of, of regret. Never seen it work out for anyone. She shrugs, but you people will do what you must. She turns back to you. <coughs> hmm. Give me a second. I have one more thing to say to you, and I want to make it uh, careful. Careful. Make it carefully. The changing god, the coward, intends to kill us all. If you meet him, don't trust him. He's going to ru ruin us, uh, us as sur surely as the sorrow. She turns and starts away. I do well. Uh, wish you success, but... Well, you're, the world has a way of disappointing us all. Why don't you just miss positive? Bye-bye. Yay, I can explore now. Hmm. Some weird energy barrier thing. Okie dokie. What's this? Of course. Must poke everything. What is it? He's been draw power from somewhere on the ground using giant shields. Like that. <coughs> Got those guys. There are several of them around the sanctuary. He's just gonna walk around. See what I see. Allow me. Yeah, pillar can talk to. Okay, cast off house. I'm ready. More houses. More random energy things. Of course we can help. Can yeah, random cast I off. Know. Another cast off. Cast off. Yes. <laughs> Well, there's the one I'm supposed to talk to. Right. Uh, 
Oh, Kerstoff said to talk to him. All these named Kerstoffs I had to talk to one at a time. Mm. Ah. I'm going. He seems to be a store. Lydia Nisha. Yeah, she. Look at this, the woman declares. Our wayward brother in the flesh. She spreads on her hands out, hits the uh, thread with a metal thread, run through her fingers, studded with the uh, circular nodes. Not look too purposeful to be mere jewelry. Her name is Anshi, she says, Lady Anshi. But don't let that scare you off. I sell rare numenera and place it in a price to rest at a fair price. And also upgrade certain clothing and equipment, but that's a bit more expensive. She gives you an uh, assessing eye. This one will, ha will have spending money, I hope. Down and tired gold. Take a look at what I've got. She adds more quietly. My prices are high, but you look like someone who values your your friends. And my work will keep them safe. She claps her arm and her hands together with a clink. So what do you need? Our home sells uncomfortably in place, mumbling to itself. Do you get a lot of business in my vast? I'll put it like that, no, she says, grinning. And it's not normally me doing the selling. Not like I used to. In normal times, I'm, uh, I'm treating major customers uh, to fancy dinners, yelling at my advisors and sneaking into the odd uh, bespoke order before my paperwork that's uh, uh, on my desk. She shrugs, but there... These aren't normal times. People are saying the sorrow's on the hunt again. I don't know what if it, uh, it's true, but better safe than sorry. So instead of passing that, to harm arguing like everyone else around here, I'm back to being humble merchant. She winks. For now, my little empire can run itself for a while. I'll be back soon. You must be doing uh, doing quite a lot of business with the endless battle going on. I'll remember that. I don't know. She says carefully. I don't like sides or opinions on, on the conflict. Bad for business uh, sides. Your name is Lady Arsha. And, and she, are you ro royalty? Ah, she says, only in technical sense, a few years back, I did a favor for the type of person who can spin titles out of the air. I told her I only wanted the, the money, but she insisted. She shrugged. So Lady uh, and she is, uh, it's opened a few stubborn doors over the years, but other than that, I don't have time to wave it around much. You don't seem uh, upset that I opened the portal to, into a mall of ass. That's because closing isn't necessary to be in this. The shields are good enough. Jewels rise. Our brothers and sisters worry too much. Must, uh, must run the family. What are those wires all over your heads? I mentioned much, she says. Cobbled together from parts of uh, a course. Like everything, that be these beauties are wired. Well, not really, but you know, not in my head. I use them to uh, build and fix things that are really, really small. She beams out her hands. I've had them almost uh, as long as I've been alive. Hmm. Let's talk about the upgrade you mentioned. So, can I upgrade the armor my companions have? That would be useful. Sure thing, she says. But in case I wasn't clear before, I can't do something that what you're wearing is pretty good as is. Scratch her chin. Your friends on their hand, the ha other hands. I can help. Who needs work done? Any other Kelsey's? My equipment is perfect uh, the way it is, she says, arching an eyebrow. Of course it is, Anshu says, uh, straightening. There are perfections in tailored uh, perfections. She sweeps her practice eye on Klausi's gown. I think a number of small under understated touches I could make your own to your gown, love. One co cost more than two out of sixty-five shins. Only sixty-five, really? To upgrade her? I thought that was going to be expensive. Sure. Let's step up Klausi's gown. I see no flaws in this. Of course, she says, uh, lifting her hand, fingers dancing. Fingers of light slip between uh, them. 
She extends her arms with a long suffering sigh, but favors you with a smile. I usually do my own work, dear, she says, drowning in her uh, breath is uh seems tightened. This is a welcome treat. Uh gain item Kelsey's dress, lost item Kelsey's dress, gaining an item dimensional mental. After a few moments she lets your hands uh fall. Finish, she says. Anyone else? Ooh. She looks cooler. I'll have to look at their portraits after this. She looks a little pimp. Yeah, let's give Raiden an upgrade then. What she says, jumping? What's wrong with my clothes? Nothing, Asha uh, says, smiling down at her. But I can make a few changes to your uh, jacket and shirt. Nothing fancy or heavy. Just a few things you uh, you like. She looks up at you. 105 shins. Neither of you will be disappointed. <coughs> ah, that's pretty cheap. Mm. Let's go. All right, she says, pressing her palms together. Warm line, lines traces the edge of her joined palms. This feels incredibly odd, Rune says, uh, sharing, uh, staring down at her shifting clothes. But not in a bad way. She gives you a nervous smile. Thank you. Uh, Rune's shirt, Rune's jacket. She pulls her hand apart. Ooh. Yeah. That is a fancy Gallus detail new look, but neat. And she uh, pulls her hands apart. Their glow fades as they fall on her side. That should do it. She says, anyone else? Something else? Yes, I'll get you a new manier. Sure, she said, look at all you want. Uh. Huh. Any healing ones? Hmm. Ooh, healing. Definitely take all these. I said buy them all. Need money? I have a half a billion things I can sell. Let's see. A ring fragment, huh? Uh, you've seen this ring from before. Huh. I have the second half of that. That's the second half of that ring. Let's see. Is this anything uh, important? Doesn't look that. Sell it. Uh, do I have another one? Uh, no. Uh, random oddity. Sell it. Let's buy the second half. I'll look into that later. Uh, medium range weapon, Gra gravitational overseer. Have a melee weapon? Nope. Buckler. No weapon's too big now. Mm. No, suffer too much now uh, from taking that. What is that though? Living Ex Exovia. Hmm. Mm hmm. Intellect. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, might. Might. Speed. Intellect. More healing. Wait, how much is that? No, uh, no. Alright, random crap stuff I own. Magnetic sphere. Blah, 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 blah. There's no real use. Alright. Buy healing. Ship staff. Alright. So first, let's see what happens when I try to combine these two rings. Where's the other one? There it is. Hmm. Uh, Jenga... Went through immense trouble to suffer these two rings. Must be possible to reunite them. Use item. Pull the first ring fragment from your bag at first. It looks like you misplaced the second. Then you find a press into a full of the exact opposite end of from where you found the first one. You reach down and grab it. Finally, you can't. 
apparently to reject each other with a force beyond magnetism alone. Pick up the second one with your other hand and hold them in opposing palms. Examine Vareth. You held the ring fragments to, to your eye. The fragment edges are rough, as if uh, sundered by a mighty uh, strike. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, on one end, you could still see a socket that might have been a gemstone or something else. You weigh the other ring fragment in your hand. The fragment feels like they could not match somehow. The protrusion and socket clearly fit, and almost as if they try to cry out to you by, to be joined. Uh... Well, the impairment in one hand, though it seems like it should be impossible. Small thing is rarely heavy. Small protrusions and extrudes from one end of the fragment. Combine both of them. Pitching the fragments between thumbs and forefinger, you struggle to bring them together. The force repelling them is not magnetism. Magnetism is almost as if someone is holding your hands apart with impossible uh, contemptuous strength. Nevertheless, yeah, you know, there must be a way to join a uh, Blah blah and blah blah. You just haven't found it yet. Mm. Title search requires specialized uh, title affinity skill. Reforge the ring. I don't have that. Requires specialized title affinity skill. Hmm. I'll put the ring fence away. I'll deal with that later. So, looks like uh, leaves and stuff. That's a more autumn. Design is kind of haphazard, but I like it. Jesus, slightly better. Her clothes aren't as decrepit. Yeah. What else did I get? Healing. Oh yeah. Should probably give some healing items to uh, others too. I uh, got five of those, so I'll give some to Palestige. And some to Rin. Alright. I talked to her. So let's, um, since this is right next to her, I'll right. talk to the. Look at this. <coughs> Excuse me. I run around the structure is oddly moist, and there is a small the smell you can't identify it. An unfamiliar meat perhaps spawning in the sunlight. There is something else, an acrid silent tingling lingering in the air. Thinking of a power held in the reserve. Examine the structure. He reaches out to touch the slipping side, but has said it's strange. The surface is smooth, set, and winding even, and yet your instincts tell you that something within the Starscreen wants you to touch it. it. To come inside to yield and fall to the earth. Exposing your softest parts to. And stumble back, shaking your head. Yeah, you don't want to do that. None of us are sure what it is. Or why the first left it uh, behind. I think it, it's a last defense against the sorrow. So, if everything, everything else uh, fails, others say different. She snorts. Feels nasty enough, doesn't it? Huh. I kind of want to touch it just now because fuck it. But I'll be good. Something tells me not to touch it. <coughs> Alright. What next? The Chalgon. Hello. Man is less flesh than mu the muscle, running in corded bounds from his th thick neck uh, down to his broad chest, wide arms and calloused hands. He focuses on you. His gold eyes fl uh, flicking from your face, the shape of your tattoo, and the width of your shoulders. Like a prospective buyer, si sizing a particular dangerous animal. Here he is, the one I've heard about. But is he a resource or a threat? And he smiles. Then he smiles. He is wide and genuine as a uh, as any of you have ever seen. 
The most advanced of our size children ha here at last. I'm surprised you didn't make your way here sooner. Our research, of course, and a fine one with that. At least until he proves otherwise. Who are you? I am the uh, Chalicon, commander of the Changing Gods forces in, the, in this battle. The guardian of the Grand Design and, and his champion. He raises himself a deprecating hand. Not that our side truly needs my help, of course, but somehow I'm here in the very land he created for us, where I rather acknowledge all he's done for us. He shakes his head slowly. Some of these disagre disagreements can be resolved through uh, debate. But no, not all, of course, not all. Hmm. Have you seen the Tending God lately? <clears throat> no, but that's not unusual, he says. His strategies absorb most of his time, which is why he leaves most of the work to the endless battle. In the endless battle. And the diplomacy in Mel Vast to me. That's a good as you as and as you can might imagine. He measures time differently than us. He chuckles. It's been a number of years since I've seen him. It wait our sir has noticed. Has he forgotten us? Has he forgotten me? What is that in this battle all about? Ingratitude, he says with a deep calming dry breath. Asara gave us long lives and powerful gifts. A home to protect uh, us from the sorrow. He barks a laugh. The first cast off <clears throat> wasn't content. She spread lies about her Asara and turned some of her children against him. His children against him. He presses his lips together. She's dead now, but the damage is done. Long done. Our family is divided. The first army would see us destroy the chain of God. And seek freedom from his plan to, plans for us. He growls under his breath. There is a uh, stubborn traitor refusing, uh, refusing their medicine. They will save their lives because he ta the taste isn't sweet enough uh, for their liking. What's the point of them, Spell? I'll remember that. The point. The point is that uh, our star was defending himself against the first attacks. She thought. She was entitled to the knowledge, and, and he, uh, she thought she uh, she'd wrested from him, him by force, and, and now she looks haunted. He looks haunted for a moment, and his voice lowers. Now I'm not so sure we would stop it if we wanted to. Mm. Tell me about the Chinnikot's grand design. As you know, we he moves from body to body. He does uh, this to test the compatibility. Of the bodies to the fullest to ensure that they're strong. And when he has done so, he gives them to uh, us, gives us lives, so that we may continue using them in service of uh, his plans. He is like a sculptor honing his art. He gives it a finger, so you see, he's not f uh, flitting from body to body like some manner of vapid insect. Each cast off is an improvement over the last. He lays a hand on your shoulder. As a man touches you, Ulm straightens uh, his eyes expanding. <clears throat> the Cal uh, Calcedian pays no attention to your companion. The entire gold. And, th and that means, of course, that you are the best of us. And most uh, suit to help the in, the in the conflict. The Tsar will find us, he says, before that happens. We must end the conflict uh, with each other. We must prepare our defenses. We must find a way to stop it. <laughs> hmm. You're not upset that I opened the portal? Well, he says, check it, chuckling. There's a definite uneasiness note in it, you notice. I argued for the portal's closure to begin with, so I'm concerned that it's open again. But I trust that the star knew what he was doing when he made you. So I have no doubt that his weakening of your defenses is a small part of the greater strategy. And should something happen, well, I will be safe. For, well, I will be safe for certain. Hmm. All right, I could tell them all about what I'm doing here, but I don't think so. 
he talks a big game, but <clears throat> choosing a side usually ends with both sides getting screwed, so. Nope. Farewell, little brother. Well, I'm going to end it here, and next time we're going to continue, uh, continue uh, checking out Sanctuary. So until next time, remember to embrace the chaos, or you go mad. Bye.